Welcome to our lecture online. Another application of the exponential function is the calculation on how to find the time to double an investment. For example, let's say we want to invest a certain number of dollars. We know that the rate of interest is 4% and we want to know how long it will take before I will have twice as much money as what I started with. All right, we can use the compound equation or we can use the exponential equation. And so we're going to use both equations to try and find that result. So what we need to do here is we need to solve this equation for time. So this is an exercise of how to use the rules of logarithms and exponential functions to find one of the variables in this equation. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find, we want to solve for t. That means we're first going to divide both sides by a and then take the natural log of that, or we could take the log based in, doesn't really matter, I like the natural log. So we want to isolate this exponent right here. So first of all, we'll write a divided by p is equal to the quantity 1 plus r over n raised to the nt power. Now when I take the natural log of both sides, so I have the natural log of a divided by p is equal to the natural log of the quantity 1 plus r over n to the nt power. Now we're allowed to take this exponent and write it in front, so now we have the natural log of a divided by p is equal to n times t times the natural log of 1 plus r over n. And finally, when we isolate the t right here, so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by n times the natural log of 1 plus r over n, and we turn the equation around, we get t is equal to the natural log of a over p divided by n times the natural log of 1 plus r over n. Now we just plug in the values that we want, we can solve for the time. Now notice the amount that we're going to end up with is going to be twice the initial principle that we invested. So this ratio here is simply going to be 2 because a needs to be twice as big as p. So we have t is equal to the natural log of 2 times n, that would be 365 because it's 365 conversions, or we compound 365 times per year, times the natural log of 1 plus r, which is 0 0.04, divided by 365. All right, now we need a calculator. Starting with the denominator, we have 0 0.04 divided by 365, add that to one, take the natural log of that, multiply that times 365, then hit the one over x button to bring it to the numerator, and then multiply that times the natural log of two. So this is equal to, that will be in years, 17.33 years. So at 4% interest, compounded daily will take 17.33 years to double your investment. Now we're going to take the exponential function and do the same thing. We're going to solve for t, knowing that the rate is 4%. So again, we divide both sides by p. We get a divided by p is equal to e to the r times t. Take the natural log of both sides. So we get the natural log of a divided by p is equal to the natural log of e to the rt. Of course, the natural log negates the exponent, so that will give us simply rt on the right side, so the natural log of a over p is equal to r times t, divide both sides by t, uh, by the rate, and turn the equation around, we get t is equal to the natural log of a divided by p, and divide the whole thing by the rate r. All right, so now remember that doubling the amount that we started with, a will be twice as big as p, so that would be a ratio of 2, so we get the natural log of 2, divided by the rate of 0 0.04, and that would be the time that it takes to double the investment. So 2, take the natural log of that, and divide by 0 0.04 equals, and we get 17.33 years. Notice that to two decimal places, it's exact same results as we have here. You'll get a slightly different answer, but in the grand scheme of things, you can see that this is a much easier way to calculate the time to double simply by taking the exponential function, or if you want to go and be more precise, you can take the, what we call the daily combining equation and solve the time to double in this fashion as well. So that's how we do it both ways.